what's up everybody so i'm here at the post office um have a lot of mail calls today and this week and next week a lot of good things coming in i've never had a package from walmart.com require a signature now if you guys had that happen before leave a comment below and let me know why they would do that but um yeah it was weird so obviously i'm not home i'm at work the package goes back to the post office and i had to fill out a form on usps to say leave it at the post office so they don't try to deliver it again because nobody will be home they deliver between the times when no one's home two o'clock three o'clock unless you're a bum and you don't work um or a young kid who don't have a job that makes sense so i got it right here um i just want to see what i i'm pretty sure i know what it is but let's go ahead and crack it this is a little because i have some other packages at a different post office which is crazy right so let's see what we got here. I think I know what this is. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was supposed to be a two-day delivery. It ended up being a five-day delivery. So, you know, they always, Walmart always advertises as um, two-day delivery, but they don't always guarantee it all the time. So here we go, we got paper. Oh, they wrapped it in some good paper, some brown paper, which is good. Yes, there we go. That Back to the Future. Another neck of toys. Uh, this is Ultimate Marty McFly, but this is Future Marty McFly, which is fire. The pristine condition, of course. They always do. So there you go. If you guys can see that, let me get out of that light a little bit. Too much light in the background, but this figure is amazing. Just the fact that it comes with a hoverboard. I mean, that's awesome, man. That's really awesome. So uh, I did a big review on my, on my channel. Go check out the other video, of course. But this one looks great. Jeez, I want to, I don't know, I might keep this in the box. It's pretty awesome. So there it is. Another great pickup. Glad to have this. Came from NECA Toys. And these are on Walmart.com. So if you're having trouble finding these and you're store hunting and toy hunting, just order it. It's online. It's on Walmart.com. They're on Target.com. Same price, $29.99. All right, let's head out to the next spot. All right, guys, we're here in Walmart. We got a nice big pallet of nothing. But it looks like we've got our shipper. There it is, baby. There it is again. 1884, though? I don't know about that. But it's stacked. You guys know I got everything from there. The only thing I want to pick up is Cena, which they have one right here. I didn't get it last time, but I'm going to get it today. Got a lot of orange, a lot of pink, so somebody came through already. And then they got Elite 78. See, the thing is, I'm looking for Elite 79. Let's see. Man, everybody's looking for Matt Riddle. They should come check them shippers. You know what? This is the only figure I need to complete Elite 78. Should I grab it? No chase. No chase, but they have a lot of the regular ones because I have that already coming in a mail call, but I got to pick up the Cena and his box looks messed up, but it don't matter. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some DC still, Wonder Woman. This must be a restock. This came out months ago. You guys know I had that already. Nothing in some Marvel. Still no G.I. Joe's. We'll keep looking, see what else we got. Here's the regular WWE section. And it looks like they don't have nothing here either. See some Roman top picks back there. Um, but that's about it. So, all right, let's head out of here. Is this not a dope figure, guys? I mean, just take a look at it. This line actually, for me, is better than the um, Legend series from Target. I like this way better. It's all around. All around. To me, is a better set. All right, guys, we're at the other post office to check those boxes. Um, something coming from Amazon, believe it or not. And I don't order a lot from Amazon. You guys probably think it's The Rock. It's not The Rock. All right, let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are back in the toy room. We got another package that we picked up. You guys saw that we had the other back to the future pickup that we picked up the other post office. 
This was the package in the other post office that I had to pick up. It's coming from Amazon. Let's get right into it. Let's open it up. Got to take a swig of water. And let's get right into it. Uh, I know exactly what these are. I ordered these about a week ago. They came pretty fast. I'm not even mad. A week is not bad. Patience is key, guys. Patience is key. So I was looking for both of these figures for a little while in stores. I haven't seen not one of them. Um, actually, I seen one of these in stores recently when I picked up my Decade of Domination figures and uh, uh, Undertaker 30th Anniversary figures. So when I seen those, I finally seen one of these figures. But I still haven't seen this other one in stores. I'm really excited to have it. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. At least Amazon is packing stuff the right way. So here we go. The first one is Elite 78. You got Naomi right there, boom. Um, yeah, this is just the basic one. If you guys know already, I got the chase. We'll open this one up. We'll look at the chase as well. We won't open up the chase. We'll leave that there. Um, as far as I know, this does glow in the dark. So does the chase. If you guys know about that, if you've already tried putting in the light and letting it glow in the dark, leave a comment below. Let me know. And the other figure is the beautiful Elite 79. Bobby Fish. We got that box out the way. So there you go. Those are the two figures that are in this package from Amazon. Um, this was only 19 bucks. You had to catch it at a certain time because it was different prices. I've seen it at 25, I've seen it at 30, I've seen it at 40. And this one was at 20 for a little while and I finally went down to 15. So it was a good deal. This is 15 in Walmart anyway. So if I didn't order it, I was gonna get it. But I ordered both of them to get free shipping. So you cannot pass that up, guys. If you're ordering from Amazon, you got to be smart. you got to play the waiting game. And you just got to be patient on what's going on. I'm a pretty patient person when it comes to ordering stuff. I don't like to pull the trigger on something if I know that I can get it in store for retail, no shipping. Um, and if I can get it for free shipping on Amazon, of course I do that, or walmart.com. Good steal on Brock Lesnar Ultimate Edition um, like four months ago. So, you know, I keep my eye on things. And that's what you guys got to do if you want to get good deals. So I have four of these so far. I'm missing the Roman and uh, Io Shirai. Um, I still got to pick those up. I'm not sure about the Roman yet. If I see it in stores, I'm probably going to grab it because it's only 15 at Walmart. But um, the Io Shirai, I definitely got to grab that. And it's, it hasn't seen it cheaper than 35 bucks on any website. Um, that's it. I have everything except for Drake Maverick. I'm still not sure if I'm going to grab Drake Maverick, but if it goes down to like 10 bucks or something on Walmart, I'll probably pull the trigger on it just to complete the full set. I think Elite 78 was pretty solid. You guys got to admit, with Matt Riddle, Kofi was good. The Randy Orton was great. The R-Truth was good. Um, the Naomi and the Chase both were really good. So really good set. Elite 79 is coming out to be a really good set also. As you guys know, you saw the other video. If you haven't checked it out, I did a review on the Big E and the Xavier Woods and the Daniel Bryan. So I got all three of those also from Walmart.com. Right into the Naomi. Let's see what that's looking like. Okay, here's out the card package, still in the plastic. Let's start with these accessories. Guys, let's start with these accessories. You got the big long coat. It's kind of like a furry type of glow in the dark coat. If you put it on the light long enough, it will glow in the dark. Um, I'll see if I can get that set up so I can take a picture of that and post it right now. And you also have the belt, which also is a glow in the dark belt. They use the same glow in the dark, glow in the dark material. It's got to be that neon green type material that does glow. You have to put it under the light. But the championship is awesome. It's a SmackDown championship. Really cool to have. So you get two of these. I have one with the Chase, one with the other one. But this one will stay on Naomi. Now here's the figure out the box. Great looking figure all around. I love the attire. Uh, she actually did wear this attire. Um, but here's the funniest thing I've seen ever since I've got a figure. If you guys can see, no lie, this figure has two left hands. So I got a defect, factory defect, two left hands. Um, what am I going to do about that? There's nothing really that I can do about that. Um, it's really sad that that happened. I can swap one of the hands for one of these other hands that are in here, but that should have never happened. So I'm kind of disappointed on that. I could probably bring this back to Walmart, swap it out for another one. They wouldn't even care or know about it. A defect on this one came from Amazon just like that. My Bobby Fish better not be messed up, but let's swap out one of the hands, see what it looks like. Okay, guys, so I swapped out one of the hands. I guess I don't have a choice but to use that for now. Wow, that's weird, man. They're putting this together in the factory and they put on two left hands. I'm sure it's happened before, but it's just crazy. So let's look at that attire on her. Again, it's that all black neon green all the way down to the boots. She got the top, same thing. Green wristbands. You got her hair colored in from a dark green to the lime green. Again, it's all about the glow. Um, I like Naomi as a wrestler. I think she's very talented. I think she's very athletic. 
Um, I, I've been collecting women's figures for a couple months now, as you guys know, and I'm glad to add this to the, the figure collection. Uh, the women's figure collection is growing. It's not as big as the men's right now, but as more lady figures come out, I'm definitely going to add them to the collection. So, hey guys, there she is with the robe, the belt, looks amazing. It's going to look cool at night too when it glows in the dark. So another great figure to add to the collection. We're going to throw that up on the shelf. Let's look at the chase real quick so you guys can take a look at that and kind of understand what that looks like. All right, guys, so here's the chase figure. Um, you know, everything is the same on the box. Everything is exactly the same. You know, you get the chase figures on the differences. The figure is different. And this one does look like it has the right hand on it. Um, so it's okay. But there you go with the chase figure. That attire is pretty nice. Um, I would have loved to take that one out the box too. It looks really good. It's got the gold shoes on there. The all glow. It says feel the glow actually on it. This probably should have been the regular and this could have been the chase, but either or it doesn't matter. Dope figure. I'm um, glad to have this one in collection. This one will stay mint on card. And uh, let's take a look at our next figure. All right, let's go ahead and open up the Bobby Fish to see what he looks like. Okay, there's the man right out of the packaging. One thing you guys will know right now, Bobby Fish on an updated look, he kind of has more tattoos on his arm. He almost has a full sleeve now. So somewhere down the line, we'll have to get a new figure with all the new tattoos. Um, but this has, of course, the War Games um, attire with the camouflage, which is really, really cool. Let's take it out the package. All right, so here we go with the two accessories. You got the Shock the System shirt with the Undisputed Era on there. Uh, we've seen this shirt before on other figures on probably the Roderick Strong, I believe, has the same shirt. And then we finally have some NXT Championship belts, Tag Team Championship belts. I've been waiting to have these in my collection. I don't have anything with the Tag Team Championship belts. They did come with several other figures, but I never had them with some older figures. So I'm glad I have this now. With Kyle O'Reilly, we'll have the other belts coming up soon in Elite 80. But there it is. And this belt looks great. Um, just detail-wise, it looks nice. It's great to have, and it's going to look good on the figures also. So there's your belt. So here's Bobby Fish right here. Um, you get the black attire, and then you get this attire. They should have made this the chase, because this attire is way better. Um, but it looks great. I mean, let's just look at the fish on the tights. The camouflage going all the way around the back. Knee pads, Undisputed Era. Boots, silver. Um, everything looks great. It's got an RIP on the bottom of the boot. I don't remember what that's for. And kind of like a, um, a symbol at the bottom, like a Red Cross symbol down on the bottom of this shoe. So I don't know what that's for. Again, um, I'll have to look into it. The knee pads look really good. The figure all around looks great. You got the four sets of hands, which are right over here. So you got the thumbs, so you can do the boom. And uh, it just looks great. Great looking figure. The head scan looks really good too, as you guys can see right there on that head scan. Looks awesome. He's got that grin with the, I'm assuming that's the mouthpiece inside there, not the teeth. But it looks pretty cool. And then, of course, you got that tattoo on the back, which looks good as well. The other figures did come with the armband that does come off. This one does not. It's a painted on armband. So that's okay, too. Uh, looks pretty good. I still believe we should get cloth shirts for all our figures. I hate the rubber shirts. I usually don't put them on. Um, I have a whole collection of them, as you may have is also as well. But I'm really glad to get this figure. It just looks awesome, man. I can't wait to throw this on my Undisputed shelf. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Undisputed Era. Adam Cole and the whole boys, and I have every single figure ready. I got the three pack. I've got all the Adam Coles. I've got everything that's out just waiting on that Kyle O'Reilly. So here is the other Bobby Fish. This came from the three pack. Um, head scan wise, they're definitely different. They definitely use a different head scan on here, as I can see. And as you can see, this one's a little bit more fuller. This one's not bad at all, actually. This one looks really, really good. Here's the other one. Um, the hair is even different on the back. You can kind of see that right there. And as I'm looking at the head scans, I'm not going to lie. I think I like this head scan better. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below um, if you think this head scan is the better one. If you have this figure or if you're waiting to get it. I just like getting the figures for the attire, of course. But the head scan should improve. So this figure also comes with the undisputed shirt. Uh, this one came with the rubber shirt. Um, this one did not come with a wristband. Um, sorry, an armband. Um, the only one that came with that, I believe, is Adam Cole. More figures to add to the Undisputed Ever shelf. Can't wait to add this up there. Looks really good. Both of them are great for your collection. And um, I really do like this figure, man. I've been wanting this one for a while, ever since I saw the pictures of it. So cannot wait to get the Kyle O'Reilly. So there you go right there. Those are the two Bobby Fishes. And um, that's about it, guys. Uh, that's all I have to review today. Short video, um, just a couple pickups. More stuff coming in the mail soon. Um, I need to complete the Elite 79 set. And then it's time to go after Elite 80, which I'm really excited about. I think Elite 80 is the most um, complete set that I've seen there. I wanted every single figure in there, like, for sure. Not like, maybe I'll get it. I'll see if it goes on sale. 
Elite 80 to me is solid all the way through. Can't wait for that set to start hitting stores. Um, as you guys know, I don't order from ringside. I don't like to do the pre-orders and I, I think the price is a little bit more. I do the toy hunting thing, as you guys seen on my other videos. So I prefer to go and find them. But uh, leave a comment below if you are waiting for this figure to come out. If you're excited about the Kyle O'Reilly to have both of them in the gear. Uh, we also have Roderick Strong already in that gear as well. So it looks great together. Um, let's take a look at that figure as well real quick. All right, so here's the Roderick Strong again with the same shirt that the Bobby Fish comes with. Um, the same attire, just like you guys seen before, the camo. So Roddy has that on there. Once the set is complete, when they do drop the Adam Cole with that uh, attire, which I, hopefully they do, uh, we'll have all four of them. That could be all the way up to next year, probably spring by the time we get that. But I'm going to keep collecting these Undisputed figures. I love these guys. I think they're awesome. I know they're not in the greatest run right now. They, they're uh, definitely going a different direction. But it's a great team. One of the best factions in NXT for a long, long time. So that is the video, guys. Thank you again for watching. If you have a chance, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button so you can get all the videos as soon as they come in. I know you guys love the toy hunts. We got to do reviews on the channel too. So this way you guys can see the details of the stuff that we get. I don't always review the figures that I toy hunt in that video. So that's why we got to do the reviews on these here. All right, guys. So thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.